Okay, first story here. And speaking of Canada, oh, Canada, the UFC coming back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. And this story, which is awesome that it's actually written by Rob Williams, a guy from Vancouver. UFC could be coming back to Calgary this June. Calgary, ladies and gentlemen. What the absolute f***? Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against Calgary. I have nothing against Calgary. If anything, I love Calgary. But this is just so out of left field. Now, it's not confirmed yet 100%, but Ariel Hawani and Rob Williams have been talking about this. Ariel Hawani did tweet, current plan is for UFC 289 to take place June 10th in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The UFC 149 make good would finally come to fruition. Ariel Hawani followed up by saying these locations are changing uh, a lot these days, but this one is definitely looking good for Calgary. Hope it happens for y'all in Alberta and Canada. This would be the first UFC event in Canada since before the pandemic. Uh, Alberta is nothing but dry prairie and cold mountains. Well, Calgary is unique because it's right next to like Banff, Canmore and, and just like the Rocky Mountains and it's kind of its own little like just bowl. But it is interesting. It is interesting. Now, Again, nothing confirmed yet, but here's some of my notes on it. First of all, Dana White, what, three weeks ago, said in a post-fight press conference, I think after the last pay-per-view, if I'm not mistaken, was saying that if Canada gets UFC, if UFC comes back to Canada, it's going to be Toronto. Like, he said it with, like, confidence. He's like, look, like we've gone to Montreal a lot. Yeah, we've gone to Vancouver. We've gone to Alberta. I'm pretty sure they even did a fight night in Saskatchewan. But he's like, and again, don't quote me. This is exactly how the sentence was verbatim, but we're going to Toronto. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Huge state-of-the-art arena. And, I mean, not only will they probably sell out just from the greater GTA area. Scotiabank Arena. Thank you, Shane. Uh, Scotiabank Arena. Calgary's funny enough is, is the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Toronto just added a bunch of new regulations to live events. I mean, that could very well be be the case. And obviously, Alberta is probably a little bit more lackadaisical in some of those restrictions, assuming they're pandemic related or even not, you know, I'm just saying in general, in general. But again, back to my original point here is like, it would be so much easier to sell it out in Toronto, whether it's just the greater GTA area or just outside of the big city as I mean, what the 68% of Canada's population, maybe even 70 comes from Ontario itself. So it makes sense. If you're going to make a big splash, go to the big not nation's capital funding enough because that's Ottawa. Someday Ottawa will get an arena downtown someday, but you know, Toronto is the big hub. It's the New York city of Canada. Second, because of the, the UFC's relationship with Quebec and, and, and George St. Pierre and just going, doing a bunch of events in Montreal. I thought that would have been the easy or at least the easier number two destination. Third was Vancouver because, you know, outside of Toronto and Montreal, that's the other big ass city with huge population and people would travel in British Columbia to go and, and from Vancouver Island to go to Vancouver, the city to, to watch. And they've had good events there uh, in the past. Hell, you could even do a pay-per-view in like a city like Vancouver in a city like Toronto, right? Hell, even Montreal, they've, they've done it before. Calgary, I mean, shoot, I thought literally they probably would have done it in Edmonton as the arena's a lot newer in Edmonton than they would in Calgary. Now, Edmonton's way more of a dump than Calgary. Calgary, like I said, is actually a really cool city. I, 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 I love Calgary. I'll always go to bat for Calgary. But the Scotiabank Saddle Dome is so old. That's where the Calgary Flames of the National Hockey League play. It's, it's even old for them, ladies and gentlemen, that, I don't know, this just seems crazy. Now, will they sell out? As I'm sure there's a lot of fight fans in Alberta. Absolutely. There's even, I believe, two or three regional MMA promotions that are in Alberta, and a lot of their events take place in Calgary. So, obviously, that community is going to back it. Obviously, there's just Canadian MMA fans everywhere now, and it's going to be a good event, but it's just interesting. It's just curious, and until you know, we see the fight poster, until I see official tickets being sold, I'm going to wait and see what uh, Ontario and uh, you know Toronto's restrictions are and how they evolve leading up to this summer. But anyways, folks, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the live chat what you think of this story. Do you think the UFC is actually going to 
do an event in Calgary, or do you think they're ultimately going to end up in Toronto when they do come back to Canada? One last thing I want to say on this is the last time the UFC went to Calgary, Alberta, this was a fight night. I repeat, this was a fight night, okay? You ready for this? UFC fight night, Alvarez versus Poirier 2 at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. The co-main event, look, I'm just I'm speechless. The co-main event, Aldo versus Stevens. The featured fight, Joanna versus Torres. I mean, and you know, there's a bunch of... Uh, Islam Makachev was on the card. Ian Kutalaba, Ross Pearsons, Olivier uh, Obim Mercier, who lost that night, funny enough, to Alexander Hernandez. PFL champion right now. I mean, this was a damn good card. Yeah, Dustin Poirier, Eddie Alvarez, Jose Aldo, Jeremy Stevens. I mean, all of them at the cream of the crop at the time. Joanna Zinjacek, young Alexander Hernandez, Olivia Obin Mercier, who, again, still a solid fighter in the UFC at that time. Alex Morona was on that card. Uh, Hakeem, young Hakeem Dawadu, Islam Makachev. Like, what a card, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fight night. So, who knows? Right now, things aren't looking good to 289. They have just like whatever the Canadians. They got Yasmin Jazudavicious, Marc-Andre Berriot, who he's he's fun, don't get me wrong. And, you know, Kyle Nelson, which, okay. So we'll see if any more Canadians get added to that card. We'll see how they build that card. Hopefully, three banger main event, co-main event, and featured fights again, just like UFC Fight Night, or actually at the time it was UFC on Fox 30, Alvarez versus Poirier too.